We'll get started in just a few seconds. Okay, and good afternoon. I'm going to take my morning drugs right now because I forgot to take them. And I'm not very organized. But today, or this afternoon specifically, uh, I'm going to be looking at some developer tools um, for doing review mentions. Um, we got some of the way through this last week, um, set up a proof of concept, but uh, the Beam people asked for a, a very reasonable feature, um, which was essentially not to trigger mentions on people who hadn't contributed to the code base for over a year, which seems pretty reasonable. And while we found some some tools to, to start us down that road, um, it's not built in right now. Um, and so uh, we're going to do a little bit of a hack today where what we do is I'm just going to generate uh, for both Beam and Spark a uh, sort of static ignore list, which is a list of people who have contributed to the repository but have not contributed for the past year. Um, and we'll just union that ignore list and we'll, we'll set that uh, for the projects that, that hit the endpoint. And then we can still have mention bot turned on, but we hopefully won't mention people who are no longer particularly interested in the project. And with that, I have now taken my morning drugs. Um, I'll be it at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, but, you know, work with what you got. Um, yeah, if you have comments or questions, I will be watching both the YouTube and Twitch channels. Um, actually, I'm going to double check that the YouTube stream is working properly before I run away. Looks like it is. Um, so that's great. Let's get this party started. Switch into live mode. Okay, um, so ooh, uh, okay, uh, and this one. Okay, it's the Python SDK. That's a resume that I checked out. Just kicks. Uh, what's over here? Yeah, this looks like where we were probably working on mention bot and GitHub contributor list. So GitHub contributor list is um, the tool that I think I'm going to use to generate the ignore list today. Um, so let's go ahead and look that up really quickly. And go uh, see how this thing is. Um, so this is GitHub contributor list. Um, it lets us do a from date. It doesn't have a to date, and so I was going to maybe add that. Um, or actually, no, I don't want to use contributors. Yeah, OK, we can actually just do, um, we'll just run this twice. Um, what is PB copy? I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. Uh, readme.md. Uh, uh. Oh, this gives me it in markdown. I don't want markdown. Um, do I have, okay, cool. Well, uh, this isn't quite what I want. Oh, actually, hmm. Okay. 
get a list of... Actually, maybe this might be easier to just do with a Python script. Um, this feels pretty close to what I want. Um, PyGitHub contributors to repo. Um, uh, hmm. What does this do? Um, hmm. No, not quite what I want. Get the last year of commit data. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe it's easier to... Yeah, I think it's easier to build a whitelist, but the tool that we're using requires a blacklist, which is unfortunate, but we can just compute two, two whitelists. Um, eh, whatever. Uh, mm, uh, mention bot, um, okay, dear. We could, I don't know JavaScript, which is why I'm, I'm really tempted to just use Python. Uh, but given that it's a thing which which runs in in JavaScript currently, that's maybe not the greatest plan. But on on the other hand, uh, I'm pretty lazy, so that's solid. Uh, let's just do Python for now, and we can we can switch it around later if we need to, uh, or if we if we want to. Um, generate. So we're going to go into, uh, this is mention bot, pi utils, and uh, generate blacklist.py. Um, Python, Gradle, and company. Hmm, I don't need Gradle mode. Uh, hmm. It's been a not super sure on how to use PyGitHub super well. Uh, so let's go, we're gonna go and jump into PyGitHub introduction. <sighs> uh, you can make an unauthenticated one to start with. And then, um, oh, actually, hmm. Uh, hmm. That might actually not be too far away from what we want. Um, hmm. No, not quite what we want. That's okay though. Um, so the API that I want is github.stats contributor. I want to find, uh, okay, author, login, total, weeks, hmm. 
returns the oh that's not quite what I want. Uh, get the weekly commit count for the repository and everyone else. I don't want. Um, hmm. Uh, let's go look into commits. Uh, list all of the commits of the repo. Um, that gives me the author and the email. But I actually just want the username. Uh, GitHub. Ah. Uh, login or email address. Okay. Uh, so. Hmm. Um, yeah, okay, pi github all commits. Yeah, okay, this is starting to get less fun. Maybe we'll just use the npm package, and that'll be fine. Uh, you can. So the first one we're going to do is get everyone who's contributed in the past year, whatever date to date. Um, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Okay, so we're seven zero one. find npm github contrib. I don't know. Hmm. Um, yeah. yeah. So if you had not, yeah. Hmm. So let's go npm install. Oh, okay. No GitHub contrib. npm install GitHub contrib. Hmm. Not found. Uh, npm install. GitHub contributors list. Uh, npm install dot. npm install GitHub contributors. Not find module. Oh, GitHub contributors dash list. Nope. Uh, hmm. Uh, okay. NPM and 
install dot sure. owner Apache dash dash repo B. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe I can actually give this a sort order, which will do it by date. Um, is this by, oh, okay, cool. Uh, what are my valid sort buys? Uh, let's go. Let's go take a look at these sorting strategies. Maybe we can give it one that gives us what we want. This is called GitHub Contributors List, Lib, Strategies, Sort Strategies. Oh, sort Login, Sort Ascending, Sort Descending. Dot sort by dash dash. doesn't seem to like this sword strategy. Uh, well, maybe we can just do it with the layout strategy then. So just give me just the information I want. Oh, actually, there's filter strategies. Oh, I don't want to filter on login. Actually, it's a JSON layout. Why didn't I do this? Um, hmm. Doesn't give me the latest contrib, though. Looks like we have to work that backwards. Is fine. Should be fine. Hmm. Oh. Eh, okay. Owner. Cool. Um. Where is the 
as the okay. Prom date is twenty seventeen. February, March, April, May, June. Okay. Uh, Oh shit, I should save this to a file. Recent beam contribs. And then we'll do an all beam contribs. And we'll do the same thing. And this will take a little bit of time. Okay, while that's running. Oh, okay. All beam contribs. Oh. Uh, uh, fudge. Okay. Um, pretty sure I hit my GitHub time limit. Um, which would be uh, not time limit. My GitHub uh, request limit. Um, which is fine. Um, we'll just write a new format or while we're here, um, because that makes it easier, and I don't have to grab a bunch of shit. Uh, although, actually. Uh, Dash dash auth token. Okay, um, I'm gonna check a thing. Export auth token equals 12. I just wanna make sure. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my auth token over in this other window here. Uh, it's just because I don't want y'all to be using my github auth token sweet sweet request limit uh so just one second while i go and jump into developer settings uh, and generate a new local token uh so cl list token doesn't need any permissions Second here. Ah. Cool. And of course that didn't work. Okay, get to delete that auth token. Do it again. Uh, do it in a separate window. Oop.sh. Generate new token. Generate token. doing uh, oh looks better when I spell things correctly oh hey who are you uh, I'm that's a very reasonable question uh, I'm Holden um, I yeah um, I work on open source stuff mostly spark and beam lately some Kafka related things. God damn it. Did I hit my contributor limit again? Oh, right. Okay, no. That's just because this was an unauthenticated request. Uh, all beam contributors. Cool. Um, 
and then I'm just going to Ugh, this is not great, but uh, Perl is the language that I resort to when I'm writing uh, regular expressions, just because it's it's pretty fast for me. Uh, extract username. Uh, this isn't like a long-term solution, I want to be clear. Uh, but since we're just trying this out for a week to see if we want to do this longer term, uh, I think it's okay. Or uh, if dollar sign is the start, I think. Uh, and so this is going to extract the username. Sort this. Uh, okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and do this for the new beam contributors. Or was it like recent recent beam contributors? Sort. Okay, uh, recent. Okay, and we're gonna give it the auth token as well. Uh, token. No, oh, that didn't work either. Uh, oh, hmm. Cool. It's taking a while, which is normally a sign of it working, or at least trying to work. Uh, okay, so while this is going this time, for real, um, the thing that I was going to do is I think I was going to go and take a look at my Kubernetes cluster here. And so programmer boo is the account that my stuff is under. We're going to go into console um, just while this is running on my little hamburger menu. It took me a long time to figure out that that's what people meant by hamburger menu. Uh, oh, low resource requests. Okay, yeah, so this is the review tool cluster. Uh, oh, upgrade a variable. Hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to poke at. Um, mm -hmm. GitHub. Okay. Uh, GKE uh, firewall load balancer IP. Uh, mm -hmm. mm, not quite what I want. Uh, let's go look at the network load balance or. Load balancing. Um, Want to configure um, do, 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 
do, do, do, do. Hmm. Hmm. Um, not quite what I want. Uh, hmm. Can I create a firewall for my public egress? Or not public egress, public ingress one. No, I don't want the Wikipedia page. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and find the, uh, actually, GitHub IP addresses. Is there a list of those? Um, uh, oh, yeah, okay. So definitely exceeded my API request limit for GitHub. So we'll do that another time, since it looks like this involves the uh, same APIs that we're going to be hitting. Um, I can limit this later. Uh, OK. So cool. Wow. That can't be right, can it? No. This seems. Off. Hmm. I'm suspicious. That list is far too short. Um, which leads me to believe that it's because. Okay, let's actually take a look at the all user lists. Less contributor. This username. Wait, oh, damn it, why did I? <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, cat all beam contributors. Okay. So, do, 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 do. It's not super long, but I wouldn't be super surprised. Okay, so I am not showing up in this list, and I know I've contributed to beam. So this list is clearly incorrect. That is unfortunate. Um, fudge. Uh, OK. Uh, why is this group not working? Yes. Yes. This is not happy. Um, there are no pull requests mm, or issues. Hmm. That being said, this list looks off. Uh, Okay. Uh, okay. Ah, okay. Uh, that's why. Column spacing. Okay. Choo -choo -choo. Fudge. Okay, that's fine then. Um, that makes way more sense. Uh, eh, we're going to go back in here. that. Um, cool. Let's, uh, okay. Um, okay. Let's see if I show up in this list. Yay. Okay. Cool. 
That probably works. That's awesome. Uh, for values of probably works, which I don't actually know. Okay, recent. Sort both of these. Uh, which one did I sort? I sorted recent. And go ahead. Sort all. Uh, dash diff of two files. Actually, I just want set difference. I would just do diff, but that's not quite what I want. Um, eh, whatever. Uh, okay. okay. Compute blacklist.pl, whatever. Uh, hmm. uh, pro RV, or whatever. Open. You can just open. And then we compute our blacklist. Uh, Perl has been a long time. Recent contribs. That's one. recent uh, I keep typing Trump D I don't know why that's weird okay let's spot check this blacklist see if it makes sense nope does not uh, for this, but it's done, it's done. Um, hmm. if, uh, that's, let's double check. Or, oh wait, no, Pearl doesn't do this. I should have done Python. Oh, that's why. Uh, left at underscore username. So he was reading in the wrong file. Cool. Yeah, it looks more like what we want. Let's run this again. That's the blacklist we want. This gives us the list of people who have contributed to Beam in the past, but not recently. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead. Uh, open. The 
blacklist. We're going to go over into our whatever the hell this thing was called. Um, uh, what the fuck was I working on? No. Not good at contributor list. Uh, oh, mentioned bot. Yeah, okay. Um, and there's a place, I want to say it's is it run mention bot. No, it's mention bot.js. Uh, pass blame, get all owners, uh, get matching owners, filter owner team, cache get, get owner orgs, members of orgs, team membership. There's a place where the default configuration lives inside of one of the one of the JS things here, which isn't great, but we're just going to dump it in there because um, otherwise we'd have to get something checked into the repo as a starting point, and that might be a non-starter. That's not it either. Weird. Hmm. Is it server.sh? Maybe it is. That's the default message generator. This is configuring. Ah, oh, get repo config. Okay. Uh, GitHub repos get content. Okay. Uh, ah, user blacklist. Uh, okay, we're gonna change the. List or generate blacklist.pl. Oh, no. That gave me the. Uh, this is. Uh, where did this come from? Yeah, we're just going to print it in the format that I want. And so that's a to-do feature, but I'm only going to bother doing that if we decide that this is useful, because I'm lazy. And um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is mention bot. Yay. Um, and there was a post about how to run this thing, which I do not remember. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, right, I switched this from whatever it was, uh, the like Docker Compose to Kubernetes thing, so I could deploy it more easily. Um, Docker images. Um, the mentioned bot should be in here somewhere. Okay. Docker build dash t. We'll build mention bot. Uh, oh. mm. uh, most of the layers are cached, which makes sense. Uh, upgraded it to node 8. Um, previous one was a little bit out of date. 
So docker push or something. Docker push. Doo -doo. Cool. How did we restart this before? I should really uh, actually keep CTL status, keep uh, CTL, get pods. Am I like actually authenticated? I am. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, cube CTL RM. Uh. CTL. Delete. Oh yeah, okay. Star.yaml. Cube CTL delete. Uh dash diamond. Dot yaml. I wonder if there's a restart. Yeah. Whatever. Uh so we'll delete the current deployment of the web and web service. And now we'll go ahead and create it. Uh, can I give it multiple YAML files at the same time? Nope. Web. Web. Service. CubeCTL. Get comments. Cool. Uh, that's the start. Um, now, oh, right, yes, uh, hmm. GKE load balancer domain name. GKE load balancer domain name? Is there like a, hmm. uh, well, this looks like the doc, which might be what we want. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now we have a static IP. Uh, I don't need a second load balancer. Uh, Um, we don't really need SSL because all we're doing is pushing across um, happy things. On the other hand, I do want to give it a domain name because asking the uh, people to configure it to a static IP address is probably zero amounts of fun. Um, Yeah. Uh, ooh, why did it beep? Okay. Uh, single service ingress. Yeah. It's fine. We don't need any rewrite rules or anything fancy. We don't need name based virtual hosting. Uh, Yeah. Yes. This part is done. Yeah. CTV, I have ingress set up. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, oh. They want money. Uh, and it's beta. Well, they fine. Um, I could also just use my own personal domain name, but I feel like that might also not be useful. Uh, magic.tool. 
or actually Holden's magical unicorn. Let's see what comes up. Um, yeah, mm. sure, why not? Oh, I want to switch this to, well, do I? Uh, I think mixed dealings about registering a domain name. Uh, sure. Oh, it wants a bunch of information about me that I don't super want to fill out online. Okay, that's fine. I will use a subdomain for today instead. Uh, I don't actually know. It's been a long time since I bothered. Uh, so let's see who is pixcomply.ca. Stable transit. <coughs> Who the fuck is Stable Transit? I think that's someone. Uh, stable Transit DNS. Oh, cool. That's Rackspace. I think they're at least not too much of a competitor. I don't know. Uh, Uh, it is, ooh, okay. Let's see here. Um, cube CTL get services. Um, uh oh. Uh, services. Cool. This is our external IP address. I'm going to um, Okay. Oh, damn it. Oh, this window here. Mention bot dot can fly dot ca. Mm. this will take a little bit of time to propagate. Uh, probably five minutes. Oof. Um, cool. Uh, that's updated. That's still going to be cached. By someone, but uh, we can probably go ahead and configure this. I'm going to configure this in one of my repos. Um, you can't look at it here just because of how it's set up, but we're going to go ahead. I've got this in Spark testing base, I think. We're going to try uh, webhooks what we're going to go do. This is the one that I was using before. I'm going to go ahead and switch this to mention bot. We're going to update the webhook. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, re-deliver uh, this. And we're going to see if it works. Hey, it said yes. That's happiness. Um, that being said, let's go into pull requests. Oh, mm. uh, cool. Uh, looks like it works. Um, oh, yeah. Actually, that looks great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. Incidentally, this is somewhat unrelated. Uh, LGTM. Thanks for the improvement. Uh, submit review, and uh, I'm going to merge this. Uh, let's uh, squash and merge. Cool. 
Uh, that's great. Um, cool. This also is... Uh, this one is my own change, but no one's complained about it, and it's a project where it's mostly myself. Oh, it won't let me approve my own pull request, which I found out later. But it will let me merge it, so that's fine. Um, that's good. Uh, there's some other issues in here that I should go take a look at later. Uh, but the main thing is that it works. And so now we're going to go ahead and file an infra ticket. Oh. Um, and in the infra ticket, we're going to ask people to turn this on for a week. And we'll try it in... Uh, the Beam project and the Spark project. So let's go ahead and open. Uh, yeah, that's probably going to be the wrong password. I hate having two different password managers, but also I'm incredibly lazy. I think this is the right one. Login. Cool. So uh, I'm going to search webhook because other people have done this. Um, yep. Oh, interesting. Wait, what? You can resolve this in a pull request? That's weird. I'm going to go take a look at this. Uh, No, this is different. This is adding support for a, uh, okay, infra, there we go. Close, there we go, Jarabo. That's, this is more, these are the ones I would expect. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. Um, and we're going to do mention bot webhooks for Beam and Spark. And the project is going to be info. Uh, okay. Uh, the priority is trivial. Um, GitHub is the component. Um, description. Uh, Bot. Uh, both Apache uh, Beam and Apache Spark uh, um, enable uh, webhook for Apache Beam and Apache Spark um, to help with your viewer assignments. A the webhook is I'm going to go ahead and um, just copy it to make sure I don't get it wrong. Web, uh, web hooks, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. um, turn on only for type pull request. Um, yep, uh, yes, um, both, uh, for both, um, for both, this is an experiment, um, and if it's possible to automatically schedule turning off the webhook in a week, uh, so we can assess if we want to keep them. Uh, that would be great. Uh, if not, no worries. I'll follow up with a separate ticket. Uh, yeah, my spelling is shit, but that's okay. Um, do do do. See discussion on the respective templates. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and link the 
two things here. Um, so uh, Apache Beam, we're going to go here. We're going to go into Community. We're going to click on the dev mailing list. And uh, I'm going to look for the word mention, I think. Uh, cool. Um, Okay. And now we're going to go find the uh, Spark one. Spark, uh, dev at spark.apache.org. Then we search for the word mention again. And we see there are. There was another reply, I thought. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and switch this from a one month view date range to a one year view. Spark moves a little slower there. Uh, okay, let's. Okay. Uh, yep. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so this will get the permalink here. And there we go. This way, um, the ASF infra people know that it's not just me going off and trying a thing. Like, we've actually discussed this, admittedly. Um, it, it's uh, taken a lot longer than I, I said it would be. Oh, shoot. Um, OK. Uh, so I'll do it as two separate ones. Um, do 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 uh, for Apache Beam. Do, do, do. Uh, this is uh, see the discussion on the dev list, and then I'll just create a Spark one that is linked to. Um, mm -hmm. um, Add mention bot webhooks for beam. Um, do, 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 note, this is a different version of mention bot um, for beam, which filters out contributors um, as requested on the dev list. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, which filters out inactive contributors as requested on the dev list. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Create. Uh, we now we're going to go ahead and create another one. Infra project is Spark. Priority is, once again, trivial. Um, for Spark. Um, and we'll go ahead and get the Spark permalink instead. Uh, GitHub. Yeah. Okay. 
bit. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and say more link. Um, this is related to. And then we grab this info ticket here. And yeah. Cool. OK. Uh, and so that's it. Um, now uh, a human will take a look and and see if they want to enable this mention bot um, webhook. Uh, hopefully they they do, um, and that is that is pretty much it for me today. Um, tomorrow is Thursday, and I'll be shooting some content with O'Reilly, so no live stream. Uh, but Friday morning, I will definitely have something. Um, let's actually, before I go, check what time Friday morning is going to be at. Um, okay, yep, Friday morning is going to be at 10.30 a.m. And uh, I hope to, uh, to see you all there. Uh, have a lovely rest of your week.